One of the great features of Schoology is the ability to personalize notifications to meet your needs. I'm logged in here as a parent. Remember when you log in as a parent, the name of one of your children will usually appear here. Click the down arrow to view the other uh, students associated with your account as well as the parent name. Click on the parent name to switch accounts. Click on the down arrow again and choose settings. On this page, select the Notifications tab. You can choose to be notified by email or text message. In addition, if you download the mobile app, you can choose Push Notifications. If you do use the mobile app, a second column will appear here so you can adjust notifications for both devices. Note that you are setting notifications for the courses and groups to which you, the parent, belong. You can turn notifications on or off, or customize them per course. This course updates refers to announcements the teacher or other course members post on the updates page. This notifies you each time the teacher or member of the course or group makes a comment on an assignment, discussion, or update. This will notify you if anyone comments specifically on one of your posts for example, if you post a question in the updates area, this will notify you if someone responds. This will notify you each time new content is created, like new assignments or new resources. This notifies you if anything in your course is overdue. The group, school groups and public groups area are similar. The school area is important because your school will use the, uh, the area to post announcements, and school events. In the personal area, the most important notification to have turned on is the message one. You want to be notified when a teacher sends you a private message in Schoology. Schoology has default settings for all these notifications, but the type and quantity may not work for you. I encourage you to personalize the settings so you receive the necessary information from your school and your teachers.